So I've been playing Elden Ring for a while and I had never performed a plunging attack on one of these flame chariots. You can buy a book from one of the merchants that divulges this secret about plunging attacks on flame chariots. The problem with that book or that note should I say is that it doesn't tell you how to do the plunging attack. Now I was using the R2 button for the longest time and I tried for like 30 minutes landing on different spots of his head and it didn't work. And then I finally started using the R1 button and that's when I started seeing results. So here in today's video I will teach you how to do it, when you should do it, and when you shouldn't do it as you can see in the video footage. You don't have to do it from extremely high heights. However, if you do do it from a high height like up there and you land it, you will take no fall damage. Actually, that's probably not high enough to take you out. And you just got to walk away real cool like like a movie and so this guy I'm going to try to lure him closer to a wall that I can climb and then I'm going to jump on him like I'm a freaking ninja dodge that attack by the way you don't want none of that attack right there I'm just gonna smack him a few times let him know who's boss you know you got to do that it's not for style points you just got to do it because I'm built different that's why I do it so anyway <laughs> I got the Lady Maria build video coming up. I just have to finish writing the script for it. We're going to get on our horsey and we're going to go over to this wall. And uh, we're going to totally miss it because we want to lure him over. We want him to see us and we want him to come a little closer. So right here, I'm going to get on my horse again. Come on, horse. Come on, horse. You're embarrassing me. I'm recording. Okay, and then you get up on this wall right here, and then you can dismount the horse. And it looks like he's noticed me, so he's coming over to the wall. And you want to get into the right position once he gets close. And it looks like he's kind of far, so I might have to do a circle into an R1, like a running jump into the plunge attack. Let's see if I can uh, pull this off. He's a little closer, so it should work, actually. got to wait for the right moment to do it and you will do it every time it gives you a few seconds to get out of the way before they explode and you can do it like a boss excuse me mr fire monk i'm trying to make a video here could you not interrupt pardon me guys i need to take care of this situation real fast okay and uh so you can either run past him or you can do like me and just take him out show him who's boss you know sometimes you gotta teach him they're going to learn today, that's that's for sure. So there's this big guy, and he's uh, kind of tough, but uh, I'm kind of tougher. <laughs> anyway, we're going to loot him up. You can either run past him or you can fight him like I did and then come up these stairs. This fort is in Mount Gilmer, and you can get here from... Uh, horseback from the seathwater Tor terminus i think that's what it's called there's two sites of grace with seathwater in the name so i can't remember which one it is but i think it is terminus so right here you don't have to jump down but i left a message uh please give praise the message if you see it and uh if you do this attack right you will take a little bit of damage but you won't take the lethal fall damage that i took just a moment ago so boom, landed it, took a little bit of damage, and now it's time to escape away from it before it explodes. Or fell at escaping. I could I could do that too. Maybe if I go behind the building, it would work. But anyway, that's how you do a plunge attack. Just jump at the target, land above its head, and press the R1 right when you're about to the light attack button. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.